Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, hello everyone. Today we are going to study unit 1, lesson D, the grammar lesson. We are going to study passive voice. In this lesson, we are going to learn what is passive voice, what's the difference between active and passive voice, how do we change from active to passive voice, how do we form sentences in passive voice? What is a passive voice? Passive voice is used when the focus is on the action, not on the actor. Look at this example. My grandfather built a house. This sentence is in the active voice. In active voice, we start with the subject. The focus here is on the subject. My grandfather is the subject of the sentence. Then we put the verb built. After that, we put the object a house. If we want to change this sentence into passive, we start with the object a house. Then we put the verb be in the past tense. So we use was, a house was. After that, we put the past participle of the mean verb built. After that, we can put by plus the subject and we can use them. So in Passive, we say, a house was built by my grandfather. What is the difference between passive and active? And when do we use them? We use active voice to say what the actor or the subject does. Passive voice is used to say what happens to the object. Look at this example. Here is a sentence in active voice. We will change it into passive voice. The Wright brothers invented airplanes. In this sentence, we start with the subject, the Wright brothers. Then we bought the verb invented. After that, we bought the object airplanes. If we want to change this sentence into passive voice, we say Airplanes were invented by the Wright brothers. In passive, we start with the object Airplanes. After that, we put the verb in passive. Any passive verb is consisted from two mean Part is the first part is the verb to be according to the tense of the sentence. The second part is the past participle of the mean verb. So here in passive we say airplanes were invented by the right brothers. How do we form passive voice? As we said, any sentence in the passive voice is formed by beginning with the object then the verb in passive is consisted of two mean parts the verb to be and the past participle of the mean verb of the sentence here are some examples Somebody stole my bike in passive. My bike was stolen. We made a mistake in passive. A mistake was made. Somebody wrote a letter in passive. A letter was written. This table shows us how do we change from active to passive voice in some tenses. In our lesson today, we are going to concentrate on three main tenses, the present symbol, the past symbol, 
and the future with will. Let's start with the present symbol. In present symbol, if we want to change from active to passive voice, we start with the object, then we use is for singular, and we use R for plural, then we add the past participle of the mean verb. Look at this example. Somebody cleans this room every day. In passive, this room is cleaned every day. Another example, he opens, he opens the door. In passive, the door is opened by him. We also can say the door is opened. The second tense is the past symbol. In passive, we will start with the object, then we use was with singular, and we use we're for plural. After that, we add the past participle of the mean verb. Look at this example. Somebody cleaned this room yesterday. In passive, this room was cleaned yesterday. Another example, I wrote a composition last week. In passive, a composition was written last week by me. I wrote four compositions last month. In passive, four compositions were written last month by me. The last tense is the future symbol with will. In passive, we start with the object, then we use will be plus the past participle of the mean verb. Look at this example. He will tidy his room. In passive, the room will be tidied. Now, let's do this exercise. Choose the right answer. Number one, a house is based last year. A, built. B, is building. C, was built. This sentence is in the past simple tense. It is in the passive. So the right answer is number C, was built. Number two, the room space every day. A, clean. B, is cleaned. C, was cleaned. Yes, the sentence is in the present symbol. It's in the passive voice. So the right answer is number B, is cleaned. Number three, the match is based tomorrow. A, play. play. B is played, C will be played. Yes, this sentence is in the future. Symbol, it's in the passive. So the right answer is number C will be played. Number four, an email space yesterday. Yes, the sentence is in the past symbol. It's in the passive. So the right answer is number A was written. Number five, English space everywhere. Yes, this sentence is in the present symbol because it's a fact. It's in the passive voice, so the right answer is number B is spoken. Let's revise our answers. Number one, a house was built last year. Number two, the room is cleaned every day. Number three, the match will be played tomorrow. Number four, an email was written yesterday. Number five, English is spoken everywhere. We finish our lesson. Goodbye and good luck with my best wishes. See you soon.